Hi, welcome to another Vita learning video. I'm Jim McGuire and today we're going over the Vita vacuum at 6000 MP press furnace and how to set it up. So after you have all of your hoses connected, you've turned your pressure on and you've booted up your furnace, turned it on, you'll begin with a screen that allows you to start looking at the settings, your preferred settings that you're gonna use when you use this furnace. Now, any of these settings that we're gonna go over, you can go into the settings tab and change them manually as well. But when you first turn the V-pad on and the furnace on, it defaults and it's gonna ask you what your format is. What type of date and format? Do you want Celsius, Fahrenheit? Do you want a 24 hour clock? Do you want a 12 hour clock? By touching each one of these tabs, you can toggle back and forth the tick mark, and that's what you're going to use it as. So you can choose your language as well. I have English here already. I'm good with that. So I am going to click the next button or the OK button, the tick mark. This tab here is just um, more explanation to show to tell you that you use the tick mark or the check mark to move forward, and then the back arrow to move back. So I'm gonna move forward. Uh, this is informational again, I'm gonna move forward. It's gonna ask you to select your time zone. So I need to look at, well, here, let's say we're in America. I'm gonna move forward, I'm good with that. And then it's gonna ask you your time zone. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the closest large city to your time zone. We're in America, I happen to be close, not in, but close to Los Angeles. I'm gonna to touch that tab, highlight it. I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna check my time, the date, a.m., p.m., if anything is wrong, this is where you can adjust it using the numeric pad. Everything looks good for me, so I am going to go move forward. This is where, if you haven't done so already, there is a, a physical light rod that goes into the top of the corner of the back of your unit. And this is a, a light rod that will highlight blue, green, or red, depending on how your system is working. Go ahead and make sure you insert that into the hole. I'm gonna move forward. This is where you're going to make sure that you place your firing tray onto the platform. There are two pieces to this firing tray, the basic firing tray, and then there's a ceramic insert that allows or accommodates a 100 gram ring or a 200 gram ring. You also, in your box, when you received it, you have an additional firing tray that's for conventional ceramic firing that's just flat, and it does not need or require an additional ceramic ring. So put that together, place it on your platform, make sure that you've wiped or any of the white debris that may have fallen onto your tray, make sure you wipe it off, make sure your red O-ring is clear, and then move forward. This is where you identify all of the furnaces that you have connected to your V-pad. So this V-pad allows us to set up four different units directly into this V-pad to use. So everyone that the V-pad identifies knows that it's communicating to will have this green check mark. These you can see are red X'd out, but if I had an additional press furnace or a centering furnace or a standard ceramic furnace connected to this v-pad they should all come up with a check mark so all of, it's asking are all of the firing devices detected for me it's yes i'm going to move forward if you had multiple furnaces and you knew that one was connected but the green arrow didn't uh, the green tick mark didn't show up you want to say no and then it'll allow you to check all of your connectings, all your tubes, all your uh, network cables, and make sure that is active. 
I'm going to move forward. This is where you also identify to make sure that the firing unit you have attached to your V-pad is actually communicating with the V-pad. It's going to ask you to go ahead and touch the little red light switch here. It will activate your light rod and it'll turn it red to identify that it is communicating. You want to do this to any of the units that you have connected to your V-pad. If you have more than one unit, you can see here one, two, three, four. You can actually move, hi highlight it, and you can actually move the position of your furnaces. So I moved this to the third position. So you can do this to all four, or if you just have one, I recommend that you just leave it in the default number one position. My red light turned on, so it knows that it's communicated. I'm gonna move forward. Again, this is another uh, time in which it wants to make sure that you're connected, um, where you can actually also identify and make sure you have the, uh, the right furnace connected to the right position. So at this one, you can also as well, I'm gonna go ahead and touch the red light, identify it, move forward. And this is where it's gonna ask you to load any of your, of our default or pre-programmed uh, press materials or feed materials, porcelains, stain and glaze, firing instructions onto your V-pad. So it says create new profile. At this time, you can do a couple things. You can change the icon. So I can actually change it, the color, the background color, and I can change the icon that's on it that's identified. I can change it to say, let's say the articulator. So you can see here, I have changed the background color and the icon. If I wanna change the name, currently any of the new profiles that you create will be called new profile. But let's say that I want, you can have a different name, you can call it uh, a material, you can call it anything. So I'm just gonna do, uh, erase that, and I'm gonna, I know these are gonna be my press program, so I'm just gonna say press, I'm gonna call this press, profile. I'm okay with that. So now it's changed from new profile to press profile. You can always do this later as well. You're going to move forward. This is what, now where you're going to add some materials into that new profile that we have developed. I'm going to move forward. This is informational. So now these are a listing of all the individual material types and the firing programs associated with them. So if you look here, we have Ambria. Ambria is a press material. If you touch on the, the tab here, it then goes into, drills down into another screen that has all of the various cycles associated with, in this example, Ambria. You can go back. If you want all of those cycles, you press the tick mark here for all. If you just wanted some of them, you go back to this one and you just highlight the individual programs that you want. I want all of the Ambria programs, so I'm gonna to toggle the all. You can then scroll through. And since I'm my screen that I've named is for pressing only, at this point, I'm gonna add all the press type of cycles onto that screen. You can also add some materials. So I know that Lumex goes on top of Ambria and as well as Emax. So I'm gonna make sure that my Lumex, all of my cycles for Lumex are also associated with this press profile. Once you've selected all the individual or material types that you want, you move forward. And this is where it's asking you, do you want to 
enable auto standby. What this means that if you say yes, after every program, there will be a pop-up screen that will ask you, do you wanna go standby temperature or no standby? If you press no, it will just automatically come down, stay down, and then you would have to manually bring it up. I'm gonna leave it at yes. I want the choice every time. It will now go to the next stage where now it needs to configure your Wi-Fi. We highly recommend that your VPAD is connected to your Wi-Fi. This allows you for automatic downloads for new software that comes about from Vita. So you can locate whatever the, the best Wi-Fi you have, and later you can always switch it on, off, and so forth. We are going to associate it with this uh, Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna give out my secret Wi-Fi name and hope, hopefully um, it is correct. So this is uh, the cap sign. So here's new numbers, but if I need a, a symbol by clicking on the cap sign, uh, it will now bring up a bunch of different symbols. I wanna go ahead and use that. And then I wanna go back to a number and I believe I have it correct, move forward. And if it's correct and it syncs up with your Wi-Fi, it will allow you to move forward. So again, even though you've set up a Wi-Fi here, you can always turn it on or off. So it's connecting, it's syncing up, it's good to go, it didn't give me a warning, I'm gonna move forward. So this is where it just starts asking you about privacy. Is it okay if Vita might send you some information, um, give you uh, some, uh, uh, you know, download the uh, automatic uh, updates, things of that nature. I suggest you leave it yes. You've read the policy. Yes, I'd like to receive information and offers from Vita. And now here's where you can just go ahead and put your information on the VPAD. Just fill it out how you want, move forward. Again, information, just fill that out, those fields. Do you wanna enable auto update for device updates? I would recommend that you do yes as well. This will automatically, if you've connected to the Wi-Fi, it will automatically get ready for itself to download a new software update when it becomes available. So I wanna say yes, I recommend you keep yes, move forward. Do you want to enable online time synchronization for the clock? What the heck, I'm gonna say yes. This is a mini video going over many of the things that I've just gone over in this video. This is a auto video in which will, it will go over uh, automated different things that you can do. I'm gonna get out of here, but I recommend that you do. If you can spend a few minutes to watch this video, I recommend it. I'm gonna move forward. Now it's gonna completely and finish up this whole setup process. So operation in progress, give it a few seconds. If you've downloaded quite a few materials into your screen in your new profile, it will take longer. But once it is done, it will tell you you successfully completed your setup. Go to the next button. This is actually telling you that you have an update instruction if you wanna view it. So if you touch on that, it will actually go over how to physically update your unit. I'm gonna go back. This is the button that you'll look for if you ever want to manually download a new software update. I'm gonna move forward. Now this is what we've created in that new screen. I selected Lumex, there's Ambria, and then a couple other press materials. So once you have done this, you wanna make sure that you go back into your settings and if you notice here, there is 
a lot of open space here. If you briefly touch on the upper right, it brings out this panel. What I want you to do is just make sure that you go in and check your pressure. So by touching the icon with the gears, that's the settings tab. You go down and find this pink icon with the furnaces. You locate which furnace you're gonna look at. I've only have one furnace connected, but if you had several press furnaces, you'd have to go through and make sure each one is set correctly. You can do this by touching the gear or the settings button at the, at the bottom. And then over here on the right hand side, it says pressure. If you touch that, give it a few seconds, but this panel comes up and this is where you can check the settings of your pressure. We're looking for three bar and we're looking at least for a five bar. So we're good at the three bar. You can toggle back and forth and check them individually by touching on the, the white area. But as you can see here, on the five bar, which is from your compressor, that's good. We want it to be 5.0, 5.1, no less than five. On the three bar, which the setting, physical setting is in the back of your unit, that you want at least three bar. And that can be adjusted as well. But you wanna make sure that you have at least a minimum of three, 3.1, and in the five bar, five, 5.1. I'm gonna get out of here, back out. I've Check my pressure, it's correct. I'm gonna back out, check mark out of that, back mark here, and that will bring me back to your profiles, your screens within that profile that we've developed. Thank you again for joining us for this Vita Learning video.